We've had a lovely day at Sleeve League. We uh, have, and we're now parked up on a beautiful beach called, and I'm looking at it out the window, Fintra Bay. It's a little bit late, so we thought we'd knock up some dinner. So I'm getting creative. So I'm gonna do some Chinese food because I love Chinese food. So I'm just chopping up some ginger and garlic. And then we're gonna fry it up with some mixed veg, some noodles that we got picked up yesterday on the way here. And we managed to get some chicken tikka bites. Some little bits of chicken tikka that we're just going to put in it. Not very uh, Chinese, but will taste lovely. And um, I've got my my container of soya sauces and bits and pieces um, in the cupboard. So yeah, it should be good. Yeah, so I've added they the, uh, got stir fry kit with some ginger and garlic frying up. And I'm just cooking some noodles. And then we'll add in some mushrooms, the chicken, and then we'll fry it with the noodles and I've got my uh, my bottles of soya sauce, maggi seasoning and uh, kikat manis which is a Indonesian soya based uh, thing that they use in stir fry sauce. Lovely and I'm nibbling olives while I'm doing it. We need even more now. There you go love, that is your dinner. One bowl of fried noodles. Mmm, thank you baby. Last night we arrived at Fintra Bay and wowzers, look at this. What an absolutely stunning location. Um, anyone vanning? There is a tap there. There's also some um, portaloos over there, so if you need to empty waste or if you need to top up with water, there you go. Um, look at this place, it's just phenomenal. Um, this morning about half six there were some lovely ladies who are currently doing their yoga cool down because they've been at it for about 45 minutes, I think probably nearly an hour. Um, so go girls, wonderful. Um, but last night on the beach there were young chaps playing football, there were women jumping in the sea with their kids. Honestly, it's an absolutely fun-filled, packed beach. Everyone is doing something here, including us. We are filming, we are relaxing. Um, may not jump in the sea, although I have been told I haven't jumped in the Atlantic yet, so maybe, maybe. So yeah, I'm going to uh, wander on down to the ladies and see if I can get them on camera. <laughs> so I've had a chat with the ladies and basically they're all awesome. They want to come down in the morning and look fabulous, although they already do. So we're going to have a little cheer and a little wave, so hello! Yes, they are fit and fabulous. So I was just reading, in this bay behind us, in 1944, there was an American bomber flying from Nebraska to Scotland when all four of its engines failed and they ran out of fuel and they crash landed in this bay successfully and none of them were actually hurt, amazingly. And years later, their families returned to this very spot to thank the local people for saving them. The ladies call themselves Lisa's Boot Camp. Uh, that's just an unofficial name. They basically are a group of ladies who have decided to come down, use this beautiful location to continue to be fit and fabulous. So wonderful stuff.
So we are leaving uh, the spot where we stayed last night in Fintra Bay and we are going to drive down towards the town of Killybegs and then on to Donegal town and we met um, a lovely gentleman yesterday who, and again this morning who's invited us to his house to use any facilities we want such as um, his toilet, his shower and things like that. Pre-flight checklist pre-flight checklist so whenever you leave make sure everything's closed so we've gone 10 meters and the wardrobe doors opened well that's because i suddenly decided to change trousers um because i had an urge to go blue today right this road is not a road that i want to do <laughs> too only, often here have a look way for me to describe this This may be one of... I think it's all right as long as you don't meet anybody on the way. Or it might get a little bit tricky. It's a little bit steep. It, it is quite steep. So it's the first morning really we've had the traditional Irish wet and windy weather. So we've managed to catch up this morning. I've got another video done. Oh wow. Um, but there was no internet. So if you're looking for somewhere to stay with good mobile or internet signal this bay there isn't any so we had a nice peaceful night last night uh -oh. so we think we've found the house um because of the description with the conservatory on the first floor um if not then we're in somebody random random house <laughs> but we'll see we'll go and see whether it's the right house <laughs> Are we at the right house? I don't know. I think they're out. <laughs> I think they might be out, although the window's open. So we tried, we tried to catch up with the uh, the guys that we met last night, but we didn't set a time, and unfortunately, I think they had to go out. So. Um, <laughs> But we did try, guys, and thanks very much for the offer. Yeah, thank you. In fact, it's quite interesting, actually. One of the things we found um, being on the road is that it's actually quite hard sometimes to find um, places to get water. Yeah. Um, something we all take for granted because we turn our tap on, but obviously in a van you don't have a tap. Um, so, so far we've relied on the kindness of strangers, and also we found a couple of... Um, beaches and parking spots with taps for motorhomes but it is a little bit a little bit tricky sometimes we've arrived in Donegal town and we are just popping into the tourist information office to see what there is to do in this area um, the weather has stopped raining just long enough for us to get out of the van so we're taking full advantage just popped into the visitor centre and he's very very kindly given us a fabulous map of Donegal town but also we've got um, a bit of the Donegal Wild Atlantic Way and he's circled the beach that we were planning on sleeping at tonight and said it's a really really beautiful place to be. Go figure, he knew, he knew we were going. Anyway, let's go and see Donegal town. Donegal town. Um, unfortunately, for some reason, I've managed to twist my ankle a little bit, so I didn't want to walk too far. Um, and it started to rain, although when we were walking around Donegal, it stopped raining. Amazing, considering that the forecast is rain all day. So we're leaving Donegal town and we're driving south down to Ross Naula beach <laughs> <Pardon>? <laughs> no Ross Naula I think that's how you pronounce it 
So just south of Donegal town, following the coastline round, there's a beach uh, with looks like it's got great parking and it is the area that's famous for surfing around here. So um, hopefully the weather will be dry tomorrow and we can check out some surfers. Um, maybe Adventurous Marianne may even go surfing. Did you say you're going to check out the surfers? Not check out the surfers, not like check out the surfers. Oh, check okay. out Just the surfers. Just checking what you were saying about checking out the surfers. <laughs> and uh, also we know how you twisted your ankle. It's prancing around on Fort Noon Beach. Come <laughs> on, be honest. Well, I don't remember doing it, but it's a bit sore today, so I'm not going to walk too far. I'm saving myself for when the weather's nicer. Yeah, Donegal Town Centre though is very pretty. It's got loads of individual shops. It's not like a an average high street that's got just the chain shops. They've got loads of nice little shops and yeah, hotels and cake shops and coffee shops and things. So yeah, yeah no, it's very pretty and definitely worthwhile. Yeah. So we're down on Ross Nowla Beach, and although the weather is terrible and it's very windy and it's raining. There's some serious dudes here doing their wind kite surfing on surfboards. What do they call it? Huh? They're doing kite surfing. Awesome.